Okay, now that you've kind of run your first blank iPhone application, we're going to take it a tiny step further and we're going to add a label onto the screen saying hello world. That's all we're going to do. All right, let's get started. Let's first take a look at this diagram of the Xcode interface just to get ourselves familiarized with the different areas of Xcode because I'm going to be using these names and I want you to know what I'm referring to. So this blue area along the left hand side is the navigator area which you'll find yourself using a lot. It's where it lists all the files of your Xcode project in your app. And as soon as you select a file from the navigator area, the code file will show in the editor area. And in the case of a zip file, which we saw in previous videos, the editor area is going to change into uh, an interface builder, sort of design interface. And below that in the green area is the debug area. So this area, when, when you run and you test your app in the iPhone simulator, you use the debug area to, to check on specific variables or you get information about any crashes and stuff like that. With the yellow area on the right hand side, we're going to be using that area in the Hello World demo today. And in the yellow area, the bottom half is the library pane and that's where we're going to be dragging UI elements onto the view. And then the top half of that yellow area is the inspector pane where it's going to show us all of the different properties that we can customize for that UI element. And then if you haven't noticed, there's this big round play button in the upper left hand corner as well as a stop button. And those two buttons control uh, running and stopping our application in the iPhone simulator. All right, so with that, let's get started. Right now I've got open our blank demo and we haven't done anything so far aside from create a brand new single view application in Xcode and then hit run. And we were able to see a blank gray screen. So right here, that's the Xcode project that I've got open and I've got the viewcontroller.zip file uh, clicked. So that's why I see the interface builder area here. I'm going to bring my mouse into the lower right hand corner, the search bar of the library pane and I'm gonna search for a UI label. It's, it's there anyways, but I just wanna demonstrate when you start typing, it's gonna start filtering out the other UI elements for you. So I'm just gonna click and I'm gonna drag this element onto the view right here. Now you'll see these blue dotted lines appear and it helps you align the UI element with, you know, in the center of other elements. And now you'll see that the inspector pane is showing all of the different things I can customize with the label. There's also a couple of different tabs in the inspector pane. So there's the file inspector, the quick help, and all of these other ones. And you know some of them uh, deal with the positioning of the UI element. I want to use this one specifically to change the, what the text is. And you can even change the font and the color. But for now, I'm going to change the default word label. I'm going to change that to hello world. And you can see that our label is actually truncated right now because it's too small. So I'm just going to put my mouse on these little handles right here and I'm going to drag it so that it shows it. And all I'm going to do is reposition it in the middle. So now I've got I've got a UI label in my view and when I click run to show this in the iPhone simulator you're going to see that uh, we have a label. So that's it. You've created your first very very simple iPhone app and you've customized your first view. So congratulations on that. In the next video we're going to talk about, we're going to do a short recap, we're going to introduce a couple more programming concepts about what you just did here and we'll go on from there in the description below on YouTube. There's a link to the notes where you can you can read the tutorial and you can also ask questions and there's an FAQ section. And don't forget, if you guys are finding these tutorials helpful and you're learning, please share it on Twitter and Facebook and help me build my audience and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.